Alright, this is the second upload of the day for me. And this is against Passerby Me Dicks. I really don't know how to pronounce his name, and I don't know why he would name himself that. However, he did. And on his team, we have Charizard, Garchomp, Primeape, Brilloom, Weavile, and Talonflame. Oh yeah, my favorite, Talonflame. On my team, we have a newly assembled team that I assembled that day. Jolteon, Clefable, which you haven't seen me use yet. Gyarados, which I believe the last time I used that was in Season 1, like months ago. Magmortar, you haven't seen that used. Clefki, and Scissor, which you also haven't seen that used since Season 1, when it was a Mega. So, let's see how this team does against his team in this Wi-Fi battle. He is going to open up with Charizard Y, and I'm going to open up with Jolteon, and I went for a Volt Switch, and he stayed in, and I was like, hmm, awesome, free hit on Charizard Y, right? Well, Drought's going to kick in, but, right? Free hit on Charizard Y? No, it outspeeds me. JK. He actually uses Protect. So he's obviously going to scout out my move, and honestly, I went, hmm, he's obviously going to switch into Garchomp, so... So I go for any part of Ice, I just decided to go for another Volt Switch, in case he thought I would correct him to switch. So Volt Switch doesn't affect him, and I go for Empower Ice this time. Thankfully, his Garchomp was not Scarf. It's going to do around 90%. He goes for a Rock Slide and misses, and his Garchomp's pretty much dead. So he's going to send in Dreezy the Weavile. He's going to get hit for not very effective damage, and I didn't feel like losing Jolteon's Air Balloon so quickly. I knew a fake out was coming. So I sent in Scizor. He goes for the fake out. And we're both going to pull a double switch here. There's going to be a double switch here. He's going to sw switch out his Weavile, expecting a bullet punch. And I'm going to switch out my Scizor, expecting his Charizard to come in. So I switch Scizor out. And go into Clefable. I switch my. Yeah. Anyways. So out comes Clefable. Could take a nasty hit from Heat Wave boosted by Sun, but he misses the Heat Wave, and I set up my Stealth Rocks to trap Charizard and to hit Talonflame. So I'm going to switch Clefable out and go to Magmortar. I want to see if Magmortar can take what Charizard has to dish out its Assault Vest. It goes for a Heat Wave, does about 35%, and he's going to go for an Air Slash. Hoping to flinch me. It doesn't work, and I get the Thunderbolt off. So, unfortunately for me, that that's a crit. So, yeah. And he's going to get the Heat Wave off and finish off Magmortar, which is perfectly fine. So, Magmortar did okay in its debut. I mean, it did lower its HP to the point where switching out Charizard would be point... Pointless. So now Jolteon's going to Thunderbolt Charizard and finish it off. Charizard is down. And next out comes Primate. And these things are usually Scarf, so I'm not going to take a chance here and try and Volt Switch. I'm actually going to withdraw Jolteon and go into Clefable. Can't really Earthquake Jolteon because Jolteon has the Air Balloon. It does go for a Cross Chop, so yeah. The Fable gets healed with the leftovers. And he's gonna go for a Stone Edge on the Fable, which almost takes it out, and my Moon Blast is for sure gonna take this thing out. So good night, Primate. Next up comes Marfe the Brulum. 
He's gonna get a spore, put my Clefable to sleep, unfortunately. And might as well just sack Clefable off. It's not gonna do a whole lot. Clefable gets healed with leftovers, and Bolt Seed's gonna take Clefable out. So, I'm not even gonna bother. Just gonna let Clefable think, so I can get a free switch in. I send Scissor in, hoping that a bullet punch would actually do something to uh, Brillum. A life or boosted bullet punch does not even, does not really take out Brillum. So, yeah, Brillum's gonna have to spore off again. Yay. Force Palm. And Scissor is still taking a nap, so Scissor is going to be sacked off next. Would have been really useful against the Weavile, but nope, couldn't have that. So Force Palm again is going to take out Scissor. Next up comes Spark Plug the Jolteon. And I'm going to go for Entire Ice, but first we're going to Mock Punch, which almost takes Jolteon out down to 10 HP. Now I definitely won't be able to survive a Brave Bird from Talon Flames. Yeah, I know, kind of sucks, but yeah. Brilloom's down. Like, lots of critical hits left and right. And here comes Dreezy, the, the Weavile. And I'm just going to stack off the Jolteon, because... No, I don't, actually. I don't know why I didn't just stack it off. Oh, yeah. You go to the Fake Out. There's nothing to Clef Key. Oh, I thought I did What am I talking about? He goes for Ice Cold Crash. Not for sure he tried to go for a fake out, but I guess not. So, yeah. He's gonna go for the Ice Cold Crash. I didn't go for Thunder Wave because I was anticipating Guard Chomp coming out. So, as you can see here, Cluffy's going to get flinched. Cluffy's gonna flinch. And now I go for the Thunder Wave. And I was really relieved to see that Garchomp didn't come out at that time. So, yeah. More Ice Cold Crashes from Weavile. I'm not sure if this thing is Scarfed or not. Because I don't know why it's Scarfed something that knows Fake Out. Fluffy's going to go for the Reflect. Another Ice Cold Crash. Bucky has healed with the leftovers. And now a foul play. Weavile's paralyzed. He's going to switch out the Weavile and go into Guard Chomp, which is going to take a foul play right to the face. So I don't know why he just sacked the Weavile off. But hey, his loss, I guess. So Guard Chomp gets taken out. And now it's left is his Weavile, which he switched out for no apparent reason, and his Talonflame. Talonflame is going to take hefty Stealth Rocks damage. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. Hoping that maybe I can hack him when Garros comes out. He does get hacks at that time, which is great for me. Plus he gets healed with the Leftovers. Then I go for the Fell Play. Knowing that he's going to go for a Flare Blitz instead, which he does. So he's going to take himself out and Clef Key, which is going to leave Weavile versus Jolteon and Gyarados. Now I can understand why he switched Weavile out. He, yeah, I can actually understand.
So out comes Gyarados, and it's time to Mega Evolve Gyarados. And now I know this isn't Scarf. Or Bandit or anything. I honestly don't know why he didn't go for a fake out and instead went for ice cold crash. When I had Jolteon out. But yeah, fake out now waterfall is definitely gonna finish off Weavile, and that is the match. I'm sorry for tripping over my words. But yeah, that was a great battle. I need to stop saying that really, because that was a Ah, you know, just shut up, JT. Anyways, thank you for watching that Wi-Fi battle. Stay tuned for scenes from tomorrow's Wi-Fi battles. I do have two specific battles I'll be uploading tomorrow. And honestly, I've ultimately decided that in addition to the season finales, well, the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire heights, that's going to go from, see, the, four, the, the 13th to the 20th. I'm, I mean the 14th and the 20th, sorry. I'm also going to be uploading the regular Wi-Fi battles, because I gotta empty out all this stuff on my Versus recorder before I end off the series. So yeah, that's why. So stay tuned for scenes from the next Wi-Fi battle. See ya.